You've got to pull, straddle, cut your legs up and around, then re-grab. Push it up. And pull. That's a little better. You're still just pulling your hands back this way. Let's go. Let's regress the bar this time. Let's go for the regress. Come on. That's it. Now. That's better. That's better. That's better. You're dropping your seat down too much. Straddle your legs out and around. Pull hard. Jam. Pull. All right. That's it. That's better. Probably the most important thing that I could ever say about working is that it's easy to work in a meet but it's really difficult to go into the gym every single day and give it everything you have. Some days your body doesn't want to do it and some days your mind doesn't want to do it. And it's a point of mental discipline to be able to do that. It takes a lot of practice at the developmental stages and I think it's very important that you find a good coach, that, that you go to somebody who has a reputation, who knows what they're doing. Uh, and isn't pushing you to do the things that you are not ready to do and, and it's the old adage of basics. Without basics you can't go on. Good. <laughs> One more. Oh, Patty, that's not tight enough. Let's try it again. You've got to really squeeze, just like you're in a whole body girdle. Let's see, really, really squeeze. Tight, tight, tight. Right up in that handstand. Good job. Good. Four. Nice. That's it. A girl can begin gymnastics at just about any age, and a lot do because they can get enjoyment and self-satisfaction at many levels of performance. And today, some girls are beginning to dance and tumble at very young ages. I think my advice for new gymnasts would be to learn good basics, know exactly where your body is, know exactly the kind of form, the kind of technique, and then you can go on to doing more elaborate things because you know how to do the basics. Not only are they learning basics, but in their learning, they're having fun, enjoying themselves, learning a little more about their bodies, what their limitations are, and whether or not they do have as many limitations physically as they may think they have. Better girl, better girl. Split. Push it up. Go for it. That's it. Push and stretch. Okay. Ride it all the way around. All the way around. Lift it up and open. Open it up. lifting it all. Do it by yourself. I'll stand back. I'll spot you, but you've got it. Now stay on the beam this time. When you're um, learning them, you have to get through a stage where you can finally get yourself to go for it. And once you do, then you can compete it.
it's just great and I love gymnastics doing it. Uh, it's a neat way of expressing yourself because I don't talk very well and it's just so much it's so much better to express yourself with your body. The next competitor is Karen Atkins from UCLA. You start to develop the ability to concentrate and that's really necessary in any kind of performance or competition because you have to be really concentrated. You can't let anything outside distract you. You've got to be always on your toes, ready for something to happen. There's definitely a fear involved, but it's a manner of learning from your mistakes. You have to try and block out the crowds and the judges and, and everybody there who's making goo-goo eyes at you. And you have, to, you have to say, all right, I have to keep my hips square and I have to, I have to think of being tight this time. And uh, as you compete, I think you learn to do that. The more, the more you compete, you, you get that experience. Yes, I think this is really the hardest event. Because if you get nervous, and you are a little bit nervous in competition, you have to admit that it upsets your balance. And unless you really practiced on that beam, hard and concentrated, very hard on things like focus, proper body posture. Unless you do these at home in practice, you will not perform good on that beam in competition. I'm an actress at heart and I just like to get out on the floor and I like to I like to really act. I like to convey a real special meaning and you can do that on the floor. person that can go out and throw whatever you want to throw. I have to sit in the corner and think and then just make a mad dash. There's a different kind of grace that's involved with vaulting. It can be more exciting, but you look at it as more an athletic feat. I think you 
can still make the audience catch their breath. You know, you can still excite them, bars, by doing something just really aesthetically pleasing. It's not like painting a painting, and if you make a mistake, you can throw it away and no one ever sees it. Every performance is something new. You know, every time you're out there, you're starting from scratch again. a lot and I stomp out of the gym and stuff but you got to sit and think of what you really want and got to get back in there <laughs> coming up just fantastic. All what we need is good coaching, more facilities, and more support in the schools so we can have our girls to reach the skies because there is no limit what they can do. Yeah. 